So David, a 2-0 defeat against Vauxhall Motors today. Um, a tough one to take or a fair result? Fair result. Uh, we were good for 10-15 minutes until we lost the player. Uh, it, was a, it was a red card, I don't any complaints about the red card. Uh, and then we just didn't get straight to the game. I thought our reaction was very poor, so going down to 10 men. First half we just kept giving the ball away. Um, second half we didn't defend properly. Uh, and we didn't really ask any questions going the other way. I thought our quality was poor. And it's hugely disappointing. We set standards last week and we dropped so far below them this week. And that lack of inconsistency isn't something that, that we can do if we want to be successful. Like I said, the first first 20 minutes or so before Jack uh, got sent off, we, we seemed to be in control of the game, creating okay. chances. Yeah, and, and as soon as Jack got sent off, we had to change, we had to take player, player off, we had to take Banny off, and Banny was our outlet and he was causing a lot of problems. Uh, we, then, we ended up in a very narrow 4 3 2, and, and we just didn't lay a glove on them. Um, I think partly because you guys have 10 men and it's difficult on a hot day like this, partly because our, our quality of session just wasn't good enough. and the uh, decision-making Game seemed to hinge on a couple of decisions. Obviously, you said Jack Grundy, you, you, you felt that was a red card. Um, any any queries on the ref in terms of he, he brandished a red card almost immediately without checking with the linesman? Or? Um, I think sometimes referees don't do themselves any favour and show it so quickly, but as soon as it happened, I said it's a red card. It looked pretty obvious. I mean, he, he made the first mistake in his control of it, and he tried to atone, he told us the end of the the wrong side, and you you make contact with players coming through. I, I, I can't have any complaints about the red card. It's quite reminiscent of the one against Mac last game of the season. Yeah, the yeah. side, and, and unfortunately it's become a bit of a feature of, of Jack's game recently. A uh, little lapse in concentration and, and, then, uh, and then red cards. And he's somebody who's had to be patient away for a chance in the team and, and now he's back out. Uh, and then, then the other one, right towards the back end of the first half where Eden gets away, gets a push, probably doesn't make enough of it. Um, could have yeah, been a red as well. And, and it's it's a difficult one. The, the, thing that, the thing that frustrated me most about that one was about 30 seconds later, there was a ball that clips into the halfway line and right in front of us, and I think it was Kane it could had a, a little one arm push into their, into their players and competed for the ball. Probably less in it than the, than the push on either. Uh, and, and the player went down and the referee gave a free kick straight away. And I know referee, uh, referees will often say, oh, it's different in different areas of the pitch, but at that level of inconsistency drives me mad. You almost say, I would say to, to someone like Eager, you've got to go down, you've got to make, make the referee make a decision, you've got to go down and scream, and that, that doesn't feel right. And um, people talk about simulation in football, and it's, it's not simulation, but you have to help players to, to, to win free kicks, because it, it seemingly, if you don't go down and, and make a scream, referees are open to the skip them. It, it looks a foul. He pushed him past the flight ball. He was wrong side. It's a foul. It was probably a yellow card because he was quite wide. Um, but it's a free kick in the attack position to centre half for 70 minutes on a on a yellow card. So it, it does it does change the game. And the second one, albeit probably it wouldn't have changed the game, uh, but uh, right towards the back end of the second half, it looked like a penalty on Eden as well. So the line was sort of six one half doesn't really there. Um, I think that's a little bit sticking up his mate. Uh, the way I saw it, the ball over the top, the defender was news and trouble and looked to get his body in and was looking at Eden all the way as he ran back. Um, Eden got there first and put the ball past him and the player was looking at Eden and, and got his arms on him to stop him. Eden was then trying to get past him and using his arms. So yes, they're both using their arms, but for very, very different reasons. That was a centre end. I think the, the biggest criticism I can ever make for officials is, is not an application of the laws or managing the players, um, so I can understand why they made the decisions they made today. I don't agree with them, I can understand them. I thought some of the player management wasn't the best today. I thought they let like, things get heated when it could have been managed better. But the biggest frustration I had about those officials that applies to a lot of them is a lack of understanding of the game of football. Why is a centre forward, would you in that position, want to wrestle a centre half? You're in the box with a ball bouncing free. There's literally no reason to try and do it, other than to get the centre half off you because he's stopping you playing the ball. And, it, and it's that, that thing I really struggle with with referees. It's, it's, they don't seem to understand the game and the ebbs and flows of the game and why certain things happen and apply elements of common sense to it. Uh, and, and, then, and then they don't give you a, a proper explanation. Often it's a, it's a bit of a good thing. It, we have the ridiculous one where Andy's closed down the keeper um, and so we can't do that and it's given a drop ball. So that means every other official who's been here in the last three years I've been here and probably for the entirety of Andy's career has got that wrong. But the wife was telling me that I'm I'm wrong, so well, all your colleagues are. It, it's that kind of thing that drives me mad. The lack of consistency, the lack of real understanding of the game. 
and albeit the, the lack of consistency and, and some of those decisions, we, it didn't feel like we were going to score today. It's yeah, a fair result. Playing now with box box are halfway down at fifty six in the minute. <laughs> still playing now, I don't think he scored. I don't think the officials um, actually really influenced the result of that game. I don't think we're good enough. I, and we talk about officials with consistency in decision making. Our decision making was awful. It was awful. That we, we talked about a, a ball and guy for Eden. Eden. Um, when we hit it, we hit it from too deep with no quality apart from that, that one we talked about. Uh, and, and we talked about then, just how much of an area, just down to 10 then, you can't play pretty passing cards when you've got a man missing from that pattern, you're going to get swamped at some point on 2v1. Um, but we're still not insisting on it, short free kicks into wide areas when we've got sent out in the box. It, it's, we're giving instructions to put the ball into an area, it's not pretty, it's not how we want to play football. But it's a percentage thing when you're down to 10 men. Um, and players just, just make their own decisions, that we're wrong. And, and that, that is just so frustrating. Um, so, so the... Do I think the officials were okay? Um, we've, we've had worse, we've had better. I just thought we were happy for them. And we move on. We we entertain Emily next weekend in the FA Cup. Um, does that game take on extra meaning this, after this, this result? Uh, no. I, I, it's a huge game anyway. It's a huge opportunity in the FA Cup. I want to win every game of football. Um, I'm expecting a reaction. I thought, the, I thought they trained well in the week. Um, there was always a risk that we got overconfident after last weekend, but I thought they trained well and worked really hard on Thursday. Um, I just thought our application today was, was poor. They've got to have a reaction. That's, that's what I'm wanting to see in terms of next week. A big reaction in training, a big reaction next Saturday. And, and they've got to, they can't, they can't be at the same level of bridge week in, week out. That was an exceptional performance. But they can't go from that 10 out of 10 to a 2 out of 10. We've got, to, we've got to make sure that our off days are 6 to 7 out of 10 and we can grind our results. Because that's what I need to see next week. Because Emily are decent out there. They're really good going forward. Come forward are, are very, very good. And if we give them opportunities, they'll still punish us. It, it, that bit about, I mean, on paper, you, you look at it and think you're playing a county's team, but then you look at the squad and you've got Gooden, mm -hmm. Jerome, Walshaw, players with yeah. experience and quality in there. Yeah, and then you look at some of the top sides in the counties, very little between them and, and our league. Look at side sides of in recent years. They're more than overall. Yeah. Like Vauxhall and Avro this Vauxhall, year. Vauxhall, yeah. Avro, Exeter Centre for last year. Yeah. It, 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 sides will come up and hold their own because there's a there's a depth of football in the area. We've got a lot of talent and you know different reasons why might want to go different clubs, you might be where they live or other, other reasons that, that motivate them to go to a certain club. But clubs in the county is going to attract good good footballers. And it's eleven blokes against eleven blokes. I say this all the time, it's like, yeah, we go to Bamford Bridge as the underdogs, and because we worked hard for them there, because we, because we applied what we talked about, we got a great result. But the same can happen to us when Emily comes It's 11 blocks, if they apply themselves better than we do, if they work harder than we do, if they stick to the game plan, they'll beat us. Unless we, unless we match them, they'll beat us. And, and that's where we went wrong today. Thanks, David. Uh, well, and we'll see you next week. Cheers, Nathan.